G'day guys and gals, Spurrier is up next in the Paradox Sims, so this is mine for reference sake. E2 level 10, max potential, no mastery skills, uh, I do not have the module equipped and 200% trust. This one's pretty simple, uh, it's another one of those maps where you kind of only use the Paradox Sim operator as a support unit rather than being the highlight of the show. So that said, we'll be going in with skill 2, which grants attack 20 and plus 30 attack speed to this unit and the closest sniper operator. Uh, that will make sense in a hot minute. But if this helps you guys out, please consider liking, subscribing, any questions, concerns, throw them in the comments below. All right. Uh, now, what I like to do is I actually like to put in Ambriel first. It doesn't matter if you put her here or here. And after that, we're going to be putting in Enforcer. Enforcer will be going on the defensive tile. So, 22. And I'm actually going to use Ambriel's skill as soon as it's ready to start getting rid of these spiders over here. Once we get the 10, we're going to pop in Spurrier and let her go. Now, we can actually use Spurrier's skill as soon as it's ready, but I prefer not to because we're basically wanting to buff Ambriel, so there's no point. So, we'll just leave Ambriel. And once every real skill recycles, we'll use the two skills together, and that will help us get rid of these last couple of spiders. So, one, and then two. Now, most of these lances do two laps, and most of the time they will actually get put down long before they're in a position to actually hit Enforcer. A lot of the time, too, they will ultimately get stunned, which is also a benefit, but um, just keep an eye on them. Uh, they do run in a very unfortunate circle. They run right up to Enforcer and then turn around. So basically, we want to just look. So this one should actually be coming through. So what we'll do is we'll push him away. Yeah, he must have had one more lap left on him. That's all right. So, I'll fast forward this. And once these two have lined up again, I will use both of their skills again at the same time. So, Spurrier and then Embryo. So, one, two. Here come our Spooters. So now just make a note here of how far you can actually push with Enforcer. If these Spooters actually do get to you, the one big cluster, so there they go, and we'll just shove them away. And that just gives us a little bit extra time to make sure that Enforcer doesn't go down, but for the most part, you should be pretty sweet. I hope that helps, guys. 